Good morning, good morning. This morning I am off to have my third round of IPL. So IPL is an intense pulse light treatment which essentially gets rid of pigmentation on your skin. IPL is honestly God's gift to women. If you've ever had, <laughs> if you've ever had pigmentation, if you've ever spent any time in the sun, if you have tons of moles, if you have lots of blood vessels, if you've ever really lived a life and then you just get pigmentation, that's where IPL comes into play. I've already done two rounds of IPL, so I've got some iPhone footage, which I will incorporate and layer into this, and then I've got this final round. It hurts, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't tickle. It feels like an elastic band is being snapped against your skin. It hurts like You know that feeling when you accidentally stick your finger in a burning candle? I hope I'm not alone when I say it, that I've done that. That feeling, that intense burn, that's what IPL feels like. I do have to put a little disclaimer in. It doesn't get rid of melasma. It actually can make melasma worse, sadly. So my IPL that they do to my face is that it's from my eyebrows down, or my essentially around my eyes down. They can't actually do my forehead because I have melasma. I have to say a very kind thank you to SkinCeuticals. They are the ones who have been sending me. I'll take you through it now, and I'm gonna show you what it's like and how painful it is. Time to get off this vlog. <laughs> get there already, I'm gonna speed up, otherwise I'm gonna be like, okay, see you soon. I'm fresh faced this morning. I'm at DRS Skincare in Hamilton. The IPL not only uh, helps with sun damage, quite a bit of that, you can see here a little bit on the side of my nose, and then um, broken capillaries, which I have all around my nose. I've got a little bit here, not a little bit, quite a lot here. Here's some sun damage as well, and here. So he's going to address that on my skin. I'm gonna put some ultrasound gel on now, okay? Just helps the light penetrate into the skin. Okay, it's cool. It's like having an ultrasound. <laughs> not really. But having this gel put on, you're like, mm, no dear, it's not. not and how long approximately is the treatment? Not very long, like it's pretty short, especially because it's your first session, so it'll be about 10 minutes. around the nose, particularly on the cheekbones. Yeah, so pigment here, and then I notice a cluster of broken blood vessels yes. here. Yes. That is nice and red now. So I'm gonna put on some vitamin C just to give you some protection. Vitamin C is very healing as well. And now I'm gonna put on the phytocorrective gel. This is great for after treatment, so I'm gonna send you home with this. So because it's your first treatment, you probably won't have much swelling. That'll probably be in the second and third. It's very common to swell around the cheeks in the second and third treatment. So I have completed my treatment. Um, it just, to be honest, it feels sunburned on the outside and just a little bit tender, but this is how it looks, what, an hour after my appointment? So not bad, just red. Actually, I look like I have a wind burn. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So it's been one day since my Lumeca IPL and you can see all of the pigmentation, even the stuff that I didn't even know existed, has now come to the surface. And so I look essentially freckled. I didn't realize how much sun damage I had. So it kind of looks like a whole like smattering of uh, coffee grounds that have been rubbed into my cheeks. Actually, my girls keep like kissing my cheeks, asking if it hurts, and it doesn't hurt. It just doesn't look very good. Okay, IPL update. This is how my skin is looking. It's not bad, it's still a little bit freckly, but it's actually started to drop off already. This is probably the worst patch, but it's not bad at all. I'm in for round two of my Lumec IPL at DRS Skincare in Hamilton. Going to address broken blood vessels, this pigmentation here, but dealing with this hopefully, right? So what are we, maybe rather than me addressing my own skin, what are we dealing with today? Today we're going to be really treating some, some of the broken blood vessels here. You do have some telangiectasia going on there. 
as well as upper cheek area. You do still have some broken blood vessels, upper cheeks, yeah. and around the nose. So really targeting those, and some pigment still left over. Yeah, I still have pigment. And then yeah. here, these yeah. in particular, I drive me insane. Okay. And then, do you do blood vessels inside the nose? We can go as close as we can to the nose, but we can't go quite inside. Not like inside, but like... Exactly, so I can oh. go over this area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like, ugh. And so still on the side too. Yeah, a bit of pigmentation. You know where was the biggest improvement? This dark patch I had here that looked like I had a dent, like went it's from amazing. dark ring, yeah. dark ring to dark ring on cheek. That yeah. Yeah. lifted like crazy. It was amazing. in my car oh bad hair god my hair is a disaster okay the treatment's done oh I look like I have a major windburn and that's exactly how it feels my skin is radiating heat uh, but it, it hurts because it feels like it's windburn but it um, it's not that bad so we'll see how it how my skin does so today I had level 13 and level 14 done to my skin and she really focused on the broken blood vessels here and around my nose and in my nose, which, oh, that hurts. Let's see how it goes. It's been about 13 or 14 hours. Essentially, I had it done this morning. It's now the evening. And this is how my skin looks. Redness has decreased. It doesn't feel sore any longer. A bit tender, but it's swollen. It's really, really swollen. Pigmentation is starting to come out, as you can see here. Just looking a little bit freckled. In here but look how bumpy it is I don't know if you can see that but um, my face is truly swollen <laughs> I don't look like me and it's expected um, they said that swelling is definitely one of the side effects but I think it's actually I, I think it looks good for what I was told it was going to look like but oh tender 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 swollen unrecognizable face but it should get better. Okay, here's my skin two days later. Oh yeah, my cheeks are still swollen. It's like puffy and indented, <laughs> particularly this side. Here underneath the eyes is puffy, um, but it doesn't hurt. It just looks funny. It's no longer my face. She targeted new areas of my face, so my chin, so I'm starting to see more on my chin. And hopefully this starts to decrease, but this is getting nice and dark and hopefully that's gonna flake off soon. No blistering, thankfully, and definitely no bruising, which they actually warned me. So swelling is really the only thing that I'm noticing, plus pigmentation, but that was very much to be expected. So I just wanna show you quickly what my skin looks like. This is my skin just with skincare on it. I don't have any makeup on. The pigmentation, particularly here, do you see that? I'm hoping they can address that. Dark patches here, particularly on my cheeks. This is from acne, so that's just great. That's a new scar. Um, so I'm curious to see if they can actually address that. And then the blood vessels all the way around my nose and inside my nose, and then I've got a few broken blood vessels or capillaries right here that I hope they'll address. And that is the goal for today. Okay, time to go inside and get my pigmentation dealt with. What level are you going to do it at today? So, last time you were on 13 and 14, today I'm just going to do 14. Okay. So, you're going up a tiny bit. A smidge, it hurts like a, just a smidge. mofo. Yeah, but, but you can handle it. Oh, yeah. You can handle it. Yeah, no, if you've had kids, you can handle it. If you have kids? <laughs> yeah, I have too. It's like, if you've lost your childbirth, you're like, Eek. well, no, not in the moment. The moment you're like, oh my God, that hurts. And then afterwards you're like, yeah, nothing really. Compares. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I smell burning hair. <laughs> but they're also the oh, wow. me, but... So that's, <laughs> ooh, tender, tender, hot. It's like, it hot hot it feels like um sunburn or windburn more than a sunburn uh, while it's happening 
yeah, I can smell burning hair. Smells great, feels great. I say <laughs> sarcastically. <laughs> But the benefits are oh, amazing. Oh, but the benefits are amazing. It's like no foundation skin. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. unbelievable. Okay. And so, like, I have moles. Mm -hmm. And then I have, like, this is probably the most prominent mole that I have. But it doesn't remove moles. It'll remove pigmentation. Is that, like, how, uh, what's the it depends. line between those? Because, like, I love this mole. I don't want to get rid of it. I actually yeah. draw it back in when I'm putting yes. on makeup. So but it'll get rid of, because that's pigmentation, obviously. So that's genetic. Obviously. That's been here since you were like a kid, right? Oh, yeah. So that's very hard to get rid of. Oh, good. So sun damage, pigmentation from, let's say, post-inflammatory, little pimple scars, those are what the laser is going to target. Like about, like right there? Yeah, exactly. Or, and I have, I think it's on this side, mm, I have like... Yep, a little bit here. And it addresses that. Yeah, and you do have some like broken capillaries Ugh. here. You know, I thought it was a very smart idea, not the inside of my nose, but to mm -hmm. wax. Sorry, to wax the inside of my oh, nose, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah, but yeah, it before. you have, mm -hmm. but it breaks your capillaries in your nose. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna oh, put a cold what? towel on your face. Okay. You're oh, gonna that have to. Feels amazing. It's so soothing. Sitting in the car following my treatment. Oh, my skin looks so tender, and it is. It is 100% tender, particularly this side versus this side. Actually, that actually looks super tender here. This. Here, my goodness, she really went to town on my chin. But I'm very excited to see how it uh, morphs over the next few days. Good morning, so I'm waking up post IPL. This is my very first day, so I'm very impressed. A lot of pigmentation on my cheeks, particularly my upper cheeks. The most, it's concentrated here on my cheek, like right where I had that pigmentation that I was really hoping they would address. But not as much as I expected. And because this is my third round of IPL, I've had a lot of pigmentation already slough off. What I see the most is lumpiness. And I don't know if you can see that in this light, but it's only on one cheek. Mind you, when I had my second IPL, my cheeks were like For level 14, which is what level light pulse they use, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Because the first treatment, they used level 11, and then the second treatment it was 12, 13, and this one used 14. Not nearly as much pigment, so that means the rounds have really been working. And two, I guess my skin's getting used to it. There's just lumpiness here. It looks a bit like a bumpy road. I don't know if you can see that kind of, yeah, a little bit here. She really focused on my chin, and I don't really see anything on my chin. But my skin doesn't hurt. It feels dry, but not anything more than usual. I'm at the cottage, so it's um, pretty dry here already. But no, super impressed for one day out after IPL. So I'm happy because pigmentation on the surface means it'll slough off and then four or five days later, I won't need foundation and I won't need tinted moisturizer. Number one, I'm gonna hydrate. This is post-treatment care. This is from SkinCeuticals. It's their photocorrective gel. Love this stuff. You can see here, I'm almost all the way through. This is such a lovely, soothing, calming gel, and this is what they recommend post-treatment. It's not only for treatments, you can actually use it if you have very, very sensitive skin. You just, but my phone has really got a lot to say to me. The scent is medicinal, but in a good way, because you think like, okay, that's what I want post-treatment. A bit sticky to have this in your arsenal of skincare. Whenever I've had any treatment or my skin is very sensitive, this is a product I turn to again and again. And then the other thing that they recommend is always putting on sunscreen, always, without a doubt, because the sun is the reason why I have most of this pigmentation. So if you don't wear sunscreen, the pigmentation is only gonna come back. So I'm gonna be trying out this product. This is from Drunk Elephant, and it's an SPF of 30. 20% zinc oxide and it's tinted. So I was gonna give this one a whirl and see how it looks. I just picked this up at Sephora. There is one from SkinCeuticals that's absolutely beautiful, but I'm out of it. And I didn't have a chance before I headed up to the cottage to buy more. So I had already bought this one. So I thought I would try this. The one from SkinCeuticals is lovely and it's an SPF of 50, which is brilliant. So these are the two daily minimums and then I'll put on eye cream afterwards. I should have put on the eye cream before, wasn't thinking. I'm gonna put a little extra on my nose and my cheeks, just for, just in case. So I'm paranoid, because I don't want it to get worse. This is nice. Lovely, that combination, my skin feels hydrated, but then it's a bit covered, do you see that? Lovely. And then for eye, I'm totally doing this in reverse, I should have done eye first. This is from La Roche-Posay, it's an ultra calming. 
eye cream and then from Elizabeth Arden this is the eight hour lip protective stick so it's the eight hour cream but it's for the lips and it has an SPF of 15. It's very hydrating too. Skin's looking good. That's sunscreen, moisturizer, and lip balm. Amazing. So it is now four days post IPL. I had it done on Friday. It is now Tuesday morning. This is the way it's looking. Honestly I'm so happy with the way it looks. There is very little pigmentation on this side left over. This side though, there's just a little bit here, but it's starting to flake off. So hopefully you can see that it was actually coffee grounds. Like I'm not wearing a stitch. I'm not even wearing moisturizer right now. That's why it looks a little bit dry. It is. That I do have to say is that IPL really makes your skin very dry. So the products that they recommend, I highly recommend. So first few days after the treatment I was using this after a few days starting yesterday I started using this one it's the triple lipid moisturizer so I use this both in the evening and in the day on top of the soothing gel in order to add extra hydration beautiful formula I put it on for you I'm doing this reverse here like my skin just feels immediately more plump safe to use after treatments and particularly when your skin is starting to feel dry the first time I had the IPL I was a bit worried that my moles would disappear like I have a wonderful like I quite like my moles. I have a, quite a large mole here and I, I was worried that it would take all of my pigmentation off, including my moles, but no, that mole still exists. I just don't want all of that other pigmentation. Time to get going with my day. Okay, so I am exactly one week post IPL and this is the state of my skin. Doesn't it look amazing? I'm just, I'm so impressed with what IPL can do to your skin. Sorry about the laundry that's there. Actually, it's not laundry, it's clothes. I have to hang back up, but I haven't dealt with it. So I'm just gonna turn like this. So you don't have to, oh God, you can still see it. You know what, I am gonna tidy it up because it's such a mess. Two seconds. This is my skin exactly one week after my third round of IPL. Isn't it amazing? I'm not wearing anything on my skin. I only have moisturizer. And I'm still using SkinCeuticals calming gel. This side, there's no flaking. It's dry, yes, but once I put moisturizer on, it's like any, you know, any dry skin after you've washed your face, that sort of tightness. On this side, there's still a little bit here, but the, the flakes, like the, the coffee ground effect is gone. Like you don't see any of that. Goodness, I look tired on this side. My skin looks supple, it looks it, it glows and there's no pigmentation on it. Like honestly, I think my skin looks like I don't look like a 40 year old woman If I don't say so myself, but I think I look like I have the skin of an early 30 year old And I hope you agree like IPL for anybody who's thinking of doing it is it is so worth it the pain lasts all of seven or eight minutes, like the treatment itself doesn't take very long. And yes, you have downtime for about a week. And to be honest, the downtime, a little bit of tinted moisturizer and then bring out the foundation. And if you've been, have lots of pigmentation on your skin, you would already be using foundation. So it's not something that would change in your repertoire of makeup that you're putting on every day. And to be honest, it kind of looks like freckles. So to me, it's, you know, the freckle makeup that everybody keeps doing. You know, you just have it naturally on your skin. <laughs> IPL truly is getting your skin to a state so you don't have to put foundation on it. You do have to go to somebody that you trust. I love the service that I get from DRS Skincare because if you have a technician or an esthetician who's not familiar with it, they can actually burn your skin. And I've definitely heard of cases where people, they've used it at too high of a level and they have too much pigmentation, for example, a tan on their skin and they've actually burned them. But this, I, I had no burning and no bruising. My skin was a little bit bumpy, yes, but other than that, nothing and once you have done three rounds it is suggested to continue doing it like once a year or twice a year just for upkeep like I would have loved to have dealt with this a little bit here and I definitely want to go back in for another treatment to deal with blood vessels Ooh, that's gonna hurt I know it is but that's an entirely different video but for anybody thinking of doing IPL I so recommend it and hopefully my skin shows you what the outcome can be. I hope you bared with me and watched all the way to the end. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you wanna see more from me. Okay, and that is the end of this video. Thanks again for watching. Okay, bye-bye.